The family of an ISU student who was found dead over two years ago is still looking for answers. Jelani Day went missing in August of 2021 in Bloomington. His body was found two weeks later in a river in Peru, Illinois. The investigation into his death, though, is still ongoing. And his family still has questions about how he died. And our Kyra Willis spoke with Jelani's family and brings us more here this morning for us on how they are keeping his legacy alive. And I just want um, his legacy to live on. I want his purpose for his life to still be evident and fruitful, even in his absence. Jelani's mother, Carmen Bolden Day, created the foundation in August 2022 to fight for change, equity, and to ensure families of color have the help needed during the search of their missing loved ones. One of the things that we're doing with this um, Remembrance Center, it is a fundraiser to help raise money for the foundation um, so that I am able to help families more to provide assistance more. Although a forensic autopsy showed that Jelani died from drowning, his mother says local law enforcement have not been proactive enough in his investigation. I have to be back out there making the noise, putting the pressure on them to find out what happened to Jelani because Jelani cannot be ignored. It's not, there's too many unanswered questions. I need answers. Jelani's brother, DeAndre Day, says the foundation's biggest mission is helping to end racial disparities when people of color go missing, saying they will continue to advocate for justice. My brother should have the more, more attention than it had been. And I, we created this foundation so no other family will have to endure what we are, had endured when my brother went missing and what we're still enduring. Thank you, Kyra, for that report. Danville High School, ISU, and Alabama A&M all started scholarships in Jelani's name. The Remembrance Dinner was held Saturday on ISU campus. His death also inspired the Jelani Day Act, which amends Illinois law to require state coroners to consult with the FBI if they cannot identify a body within 72 hours. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.